Spiders and snakes. Nope. Spiders and frogs. I was told not to put them next to each other, but I did anyway. <laughs> worked so hard on that enclosure you may have seen it was black and yellow black and yellow and I had a different idea for the, I had a different vision and so I went a completely different way I dismantled his thing I did use the yellow that was in there as well as more yellow and created a new enclosure and it is now a half snake and half frog enclosure we are looking at a nice new snake enclosure and I wanted to have these branches here coming out um, something I've seen in zoo enclosures before. One thing that's not working because of the type of branch I'm using is that I can't put the snake on the branch. So I might have to cheat, use a little non-Lego, put a little piece of putty on there and stick the snake on there because I think that's the only way he's gonna be able to stay on there. I tried a few other ideas, nothing worked. I added a little rock, a little water in there. I... Not too much, it's a snake enclosure. They don't need a lot, they need some sand, they need some water, they need some branches to hang from. I think they got all they need. We're gonna go check out the other side. We have a new frog enclosure. Now this one wasn't planned. I had thought of doing insects and doing the spiders and that's probably gonna happen but in a different part of the zoo. Maybe an even smaller enclosure because this alone is huge space. Drew had mentioned that the elephants have about the same amount of space as seven, fro seven or eight frogs we have in here. I did find the one cool golden frog and the golden frog is from one of the, the jungle sets with the Lions, and that'll be a future exhibit by the way. I am planning on putting a tiger and a lion in an enclosure. I'm working on the tiger one next, I think. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. But I did add a lot of grass in here and just kind of made it look like a swampy area. We have little green in the bottom in the water for lily pads, frogs sitting everywhere amongst the grasses, there's frogs on both sides, and grasses, and they're just hiding and it's a typical swampy area for frogs. Nothing too special, but I think it kind of encompasses and, cap and captures what a pond for frogs would look like. And it's important for people in this future to, to realize what the habitats used to look like. And so we try and keep that alive here in the zoo. You know, I was thinking, you know who really needs to go into this snake enclosure and be the keeper of it? I think Indiana does. Indiana Jones needs to be here because we know how much he loves snakes. Maybe I'll do that. Not sure. Maybe we'll scare him a little bit. This was fun to build. It's very colorful, unlike any of the other ones, which are tans and browns and some blues and grays and dark tans we have over behind me here. This one is bright, bright, bright. And I think it fits the enclosure. I wanted something nice and colorful, and it was fun to build. I hope you appreciate this too as well, and let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is on the third Thursdays of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter at Built From Bricks as much. <laughs> Subscribe!